Oh, fancy meeting you here. How you doing, Sue? <laughs> Seriously though, um, today I'm going to be talking about a serious topic. Um, it's a We Need to Talk series, as you know from the title. And it's just about how, the title says it all, how I overcame debt and depression. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I have mentioned, like, briefly that I spend a lot. And I want to do a whole video of me spend, like, of how, like, how serious it is that I spend. And maybe do a journey of me trying to save, like, like, uh, yeah, just... Uh, journey of me trying to save and do like little vlogs of how I save, how I'm trying to save and how I manage my money being bipolar and stuff. But at this point, I'm talking about this is like a few months ago, like this isn't even a year ago guys, this is like a few months ago and I got myself into debt because I was at uni and I had to drop out because for various reasons like my health, I was Getting, I got sick twice in one year of me being at uni and I thought if it's three years at uni and I'm already getting sick twice and my financial situation because I spend a lot is rubbish that I can't, uni can't be for me like it just, it, it like don't get me wrong I think I'm good at studying like when I was studying I put my work into it and I, I do love studying but I didn't think uni was for me for certain reasons anyway. So I spent like a lot, um, I got my student finance, I wasn't getting my universal credit for, uh, for my, to cover my rent because I was getting student finance. Now that wasn't good because my rent is a certain amount and then I have to think about what I'm spending on myself and what I'm spending for my course, um, what I'm spending to live. And I was doing media, so if I was on uh, on set, I would get lunch. Like I can't do that all the time. Or if I want to buy lunch, I have to make lunch for myself. And I went to uni in Greenwich, and it's it, like there's a lot to think about. And student finance, you only get it a certain part time of the year. Um, you don't get it monthly. You get it for the year, and you have to split it for all that time. And I should have. I should have really opened a student account and been, what's it called, frugal with my money and been efficient with my money, but I wasn't. Um, and that's something with my parents that I have to come to terms with. Like, I can't just spend all my money. And it's, it's, it's one thing saying it's one thing doing it. I know my friend who also has bipolar, she, shout out to you, you know who you are. I don't want to name names because you might not want to, like, be known as... Someone that's got back, like you have, I'm not going to even get into it, but I don't want to name names, that's all. But she also spends a lot of money when she's manic. And when, I, when I'm when i manic, like there's no going back. Like, I said I got my nails done. Um, I had to talk myself out of spending better money. Like I had to talk myself out of buying clothes because that's one thing that always triggers me, clothes. I'm like, oh, I need some summer dresses. Before you know it, I spent like bare money on, it, like, on clothes and the clothes aren't cheap for women like so I spend money on the top then I go to Primark and get a few things and then but the thing is I try to go to cheap places so that it makes me feel like I've got more for my money so it doesn't I don't get upset about spending uh, but I got my nails done yesterday and then I bought food because I had to talk myself into saving the money for my food because I was in the shop and I was like should I get design on my nails and I was like no Christine you have to buy food you have to buy food you have to buy food so yeah that's a little insight to me spending money so I spent all my money and I couldn't pay my bills imagine I spent all that student finance I was in hospital um I spent all that money so basically let me give you the backstory I was, I was in hospital um I got admitted and then I spent all my student finance whilst I was in hospital when I got out I didn't have nothing to pay for my bills my rent uh, my finances but I got depressed um, I spent it on food every single day and it got bad to a point where 
my mum and dad had to be like, listen, your mummy has to hold on to your card because you spend too much. And mum lives down the road. Very right. Thank you, mummy, for all the, for hanging on to my card for me because it helped a lot. And what I had to do was, if I wanted to pay a bill, I had to tell her I'm paying a bill, take my card, and go and do that and give her back the card. Um, yeah, so that was hard. And I, would, I wouldn't wish it on myself again. Like, it was hard to not to think about not spending, not doing the things that I wanted to do. I had to take off all my Apple Pay. Like, it was a lot. You'd think I was depressed not spending money. Yeah, I was getting a bit upset and agitated not spending money but I was depressed when I had the money can you imagine so I was when I was depressed I was just I was I, I didn't want to buy food I, I didn't want to make food I would just buy all the food so I bought delivery every single day for a week straight so you name it there was McDonald's breakfast there was delivery um ZZ's lasagna there was Amigos burgers hot dogs you name it like there was Everything under the sun that you can think of. I had Wagamamas, like like I was like I had money, like I had money. I was buying Wagamamas for lunch. All these things made me put away, made me depressed. And then um, there was a time where I just didn't leave my bed. I wasn't cooking. I wasn't doing no housework. My house was a state. I needed to Hoover it. Like everything was untouched in my house. Like I did not move. You'd think that my house was abandoned because. You could, you wouldn't hear no footsteps. You'd hear me walking to the toilet and coming back to my bed like nothing. And it was really bad. And my dad had to come and visit me, and he was worried about me. And even my mum was worried. Like they were like, you need to get up and do things for yourself. Like, and I was like, no, like I don't want to. And I was putting on a brave face when they came. Like I was smiling and laughing with them because I didn't want them to be like too uh, worried about me but inside I was actually like crying and I'd sit in bed and cry for days and uh, I had suicidal thoughts um, it was a lot like it was a lot so I also want to tell you guys like how I overcame that obviously that's like the main subject of this message so how I overcame my debt and depression, I came out of, so this is, I came out of hospital, I, I, okay, so there's two hospital admissions, I just spoke about the first one, the second one, it's a better one, I didn't spend all my finances, I didn't have my card on me, it was all Gucci. So, this time round was a harsh admission, because a lot went on, but it, like, the best thing came out of it, because even, like, God gives like the worst, not the, like he gives, what's it called, I forgot the saying, but whenever there's a bigger challenge, there's always something good that's going to happen, so that's what I believe in now, so if I know something bad's going to happen, I'm like, you know what, I can't wait for the the silver line to happen, so this was a really hard admission, my last admission, like I got lost in East London, everything, like I was having delusions, I got lost, my phone went missing, like not, I broke my phone, this and the other, like a lot of things happened. But when I came out of this hospital admission, I was kicking ass. Let me tell like I don't like throwing my own trumpet, but I feel like I was kicking ass. I applied for a new job. I got I got a few interviews. I got the job that I really wanted um, out of all of them, and then I and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna look for a better job whilst I'm in that job part time. So when I was part time, I found. A job that I already applied for but I got ill and I couldn't apply for it and then I found out that they're still looking for job posts they're still looking for people to fill that job post so I, I, I was like you know what let me apply for it again so I emailed the manager of that post and I said I'm really sorry I apologize I got ill and this and the other I hope I, that I could still apply for this job post she said yes I got an interview and I got the job in social media that's all I've always wanted I wanted a job that I could sit down on a weekday and just I don't know either do media I was just media related and it's social media guys um, and this is all within like I came out of hospital in May we're in July the start of July 
so it, I was working all of June. I didn't, I didn't have a recovery process. Like, I recovered, like briefly, but I didn't recover from being in the hospital um, and being in that environment. So I kicked ass. Like, I got a job, and then within a few, like within a few weeks of me being out, and I've got an even better job. So things do get better, guys. Like, you don't understand. Like, if you're going through something. You need to, like you need to think about the good things that are coming your way, like and you need to be grateful. You need to like before I got this job, I was like, thank you God for giving me this job. Like that's all I do every single time for each job. I was like, thank you God for giving me that job. And what happened? I got both jobs. I recently quit the one that I was already at, the hospitality one, and now I'm doing my social media job on the fifth of this month. Wish me luck, guys. Um, yeah, and if you have any. Uh, stories that you want to share with me about how you overcame your de depression or debt um, I hope that you and if you are going through any debt I hope that you overcome it and if you are going through de depression I hope that you overcome it as well uh, and about my debt situation I'm hardly in any, any debt um, I'm doing well I'm still paying off some but I'm not like desolate like I know where my next amount of money is coming from I'm doing well so yeah I hope that I did help some of you guys or this story was beneficial to any of you but I just want to let you know like don't let life's obstacles get you down like you're in you're on this earth for a reason because God knew that you could overcome all the battles of this life like you're not gonna you're not going to like wither away from one thing that happened to your life you still got a roof over your head you still got food they can't kick you out of your apartment or flat or whatever that quickly if you're renting just give it some time just get, like have a plan in place to pay your rent don't stop paying your rent please um and always make sure you've got money um as backup that's what i need to work on um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you soon but I, you know what i just got my nails done i'm just doing all of this Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.